Welcome to week 14. God damn. But today is May 8th, Monday, and it's currently 6.50 p.m. So it's actually at the end of the day. The sun is about to set in about an hour, and I just got back from a 45-minute boxing class. First time I uh, worked out in a hat today. The hair is growing long. It's looking disgusting, okay? So to put that bitch on so today was a good good sesh my boy daniel drove me there and back it was really good to work out with him today's combo was quite interesting it was it was a one two and then you have the slip two hook three and then basically a six which is right uppercut and then a left uppercut and basically you do like one two slip two three for example and that's like the first because it's eight rounds and you basically there's like a combo that we keep building off of so it started off with that combo i just stated and then into round two we would add the you know after the hook it would be the cross and then you slip or something and then you keep doing that keep doing it and then you keep adding one more one more one more so that's basically what today was about and then had a nice core workout at the end and oh wow i just saw a beautiful bird just like glide down wow the sky is looking really beautiful i really want to catch the sunset as you can see different background i'm in the bathroom switching it up but i'm about to take a shower because i'm a stinky fuck right now after uh doing that so yeah it was nice got to catch up with dan the man a bit and now i just got back hugged my mother i was like hello mother i love you she's like i love you back son i'm like thank you appreciate it i didn't even edit uh last week's video yet so that's gonna be either done today or tomorrow i've been you know i'm actually done with school guys oh i how can i yesterday was literally the last day of school and then today i actually got my final grades for my last class and guys i literally got a perfect hundred just throughout this whole art history class so that shit was fucking light work i needed that class to end the year with like it was just perfect ending to the college career and now i literally just have a week until saturday which is the graduation so i'm gonna be fucking chilling guys i've, I've been working hard for four years doing some bullshit academic stuff so time to just you know fucking relax what else what else and even today i bought a book i bought dopamine nation that's the next thing i've been really struggling with just overconsumption still of just media of all kinds and like i need to just the dopamine just gets me like all this social media doom scrolling and just i just i'm driven by distraction it's it's insane and that's literally a book title for adhd people but it's so fucking true like i need to make my body my my bitch like fuck you like stop being addicted to all this tech technology like i need some self-control god damn it so that's a book I've, I've had on kindle and i've always like heard about it but now i saw it in the bookstore i was like yes so cop that it was almost like 20 bucks but it's a good book high quality book by some neuroscientist or neuro psychologist whatever the fuck is that the name so yeah i'm gonna shower i again don't know what else more i can say other than your boy's chilling your boy's growing up about to get the fuck out of school about to attack real life kind of shit in my pants because now i'm like damn i gotta like make racks and especially i want to be you know a good man in the future and a good father and build a family and now it's like and i gotta really start planning shit long term and it's like fuck it's on my doorstep now it's like when you're in school you just always think it's so far it's, and then now it's fucking here it's like wow that's a tomorrow problem today i worked out so down bad to chat baby that's monday concluded and i will see you guys in the next clip adios hey guys welcome to wednesday it is may 10th and we just got done with a 30 minute boxing class i just wanted to do this update and i was gonna actually drive while doing this but my car turned on and then my car play turned on and it completely shut off the recording and i was already talking for like a minute straight so we're just gonna sit here do a quick recap and then i'm gonna drive that was so fucking stupid i mean i guess i could just turn off my wi-fi and bluetooth but whatever so let's recap what just went down again my buddy daniel joined me thanks for coming on short notice really appreciate it and i basically did seven minute warm-up and that's just like cardio to get your your blood pumping and then it was four rounds of three minutes of boxing and then a minute rest in between and i don't know what it is this 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 coach aaron i don't know if you'll ever see this but goddamn you're probably like the hardest coach out of everybody and i get like especially tired even if we're doing less rounds it's just like the combos he makes us do and like i just have to keep up my arms like at all times it's just it's so tiring it's what you're supposed to do to be a good athlete but it's just like holy fuck so i'm fucking like i'm dr i was drenched in sweat i'm fucking i'm pooping 
cooked for the day. And I'm about to have a nice lunch with my brother, which I need to get back to. But right now I'm recording this video. So 30 minutes with a four rounds of boxing and then it's seven minute cool down with a core workout. Some lady getting in her car. Don't look over here because that's cringe. That was basically what we did today. Daniel just drove by, I was waving at him. What else, what else? And before this session, I actually was reading a new book I picked up. I went to a, like a local bookstore and I was like, whoa. So basically it's called Dopamine Nation. We need this lady to back out. We need this lady to get the fuck out of here. See guys, like I, I actually cringe inside when other people start seeing me, but it's something I need to like not give a fuck about. And it's like, these are NPCs and they're gonna forget me by tomorrow the same way I forget about their existence. So it's okay. Now people are just walking by, driving by. Okay, please do your thing. So again, let me say that again. So basically I was looking through a book called Dopamine Nation. It's actually a book I had on my Kindle a while ago, but recently went to a bookstore with a friend who be watching this what's up and we were just checking around I was like oh dopamine nation and lately I've been just I've been struggling with over consumption just my entire life being like a Gen Z kid just growing up with the internet and all this technology I've just over consume so much media like and it's not that anymore I'm watching like trivial shit I mean I do here and there but a lot of my thing is things I can learn and a lot of it is either to do with mindset habits of rich people it's just like e either watching successful people and how they got to be successful and I'm like constantly picking out mental models or like the the shortcuts they took or this and that but my problem is with all the do scrolling with all this technology like I'm over learning like I'm learning way too much that I get to a point where I never apply anything and it's just like I just keep filling in my brain with all these like new stimulations and that could be a good and a negative thing but the more you don't apply it's just you're gonna lose all that shit you put in your brain so it's kind of ends up being a waste of time over time because you don't fucking use it dopamine nation is a book that's gonna help you understand the the balance between pain and pleasure in your brain and basically how to balance your life in a in a society where we have a 24 7 dopamine just constantly shot at us at all directions that's on the book list now i have like five books just constant rotation and i swear to god it's just whatever picks up my my like either a current problem i have at the moment and i read until i kind of solve it and then i give up the book and then i start bouncing around everywhere sometimes i sit and i like finish which i would you know it's a habit i would like to start having <laughs> i need to have the habit of finishing what i start just right now, I've been starting a lot of different things and then kind of like just leaving it to die after a little bit. So that's what's up. Okay, uh, five minutes so far. We did a good recap. We worked out today and I don't know what's up for the agenda for the rest of the day, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day and I still have a few days till graduation. So I just been fucking being a, a chill lord. I'm just the chillest lord you'll ever meet. So yeah, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go get some food. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next clip. Cheers, my friends. Hello, and welcome to Friday, May 12th. Today was a boxing class, and people are now walking in. All right, a bit of a scenic change, but let's continue. So I actually had a boxing class today at 12.15 p.m., and right now I'm recording this at 5.25, so it has been... <laughs> four hours since I've done boxing and I've done a lot of things. So I'm actually gonna recap just what I did. Actually, well, boxing first and then we'll get into it. So the boxing class, well, my boy, Dan. Yeah, now I got sound effects and shit. It's cool. I gotta keep adding new shit. I'm always doing 1% better. And I recommend that for you guys. Start a project that's an ever building thing. Like these videos right now, I'm planning, hopefully they maintain this. Okay, my mom, my mother just yelled. With this channel, for example, I, instead of me trying to always go viral, the, the goal is to post for 52 weeks, for example, because every week is a new video for Down Bad to Chat. So that is a whole year, 52 weeks, which makes everything sound so much smaller if you think about it, like just saying that. But what, this is week 14? Just think about it. Each time I've been trying to improve something slightly or do something differently or edit. So sometimes things are noticeable and then some things aren't, but it's like behind the scenes. And it's just constant learning and tweaking. You just constantly tweak, 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 tweak. You explore, you experiment with something like a setting you've never played with. Like just keep iterating. Each time you come to show up, it's small increments. And then that's, that's growth. You compound over like little steps. So let's go back to the boxing class because I like to go on tangents. So me and my boy Dan, Pao Dan, 
So we signed up for a 30 minute boxing class today. So it's like six, seven minute, you know, like cardio, get your, get your blood moving, like doing all kinds of like movement. And that's how you warm up. And then it was four rounds of three minutes and one minute rest. So three rounds of like active boxing. I don't know, sometimes like I, why do I feel more dead during like the four round classes? Cause when I do the eight, I like always make it out at the end of it. And it always feels like relatively good. But for some reason, it's just like, maybe they make it more intense during it. I mean, I would hope so, but it's just, it always just, I'm like, but today was fucked up because me and my boy, we signed up for 30 minutes and then it ended up turning into like a 50 minute class. So basically they're like, oh, today we're trying something new where we're gonna like introduce lifting and i was like what barbells but no it was just some dumbbells and then we were doing just workouts at the end because usually it's a core workout at the end like in like a stretch basically but this time it was like we're doing bicep curls lots of squats mad push-ups burpees but this time we were using like dumbbells basically well there were y bells they have like this cool new way of having weights i don't know how to explain it and while i'm like while we're in it and like the class just like kept fucking going i'm like there's no way this is 30 minutes like this felt like hell on earth i was so fucking tired and i was drenched in sweat like like the tips of my hair just the sweat was dripping on the floor and as i'm like doing push-ups like all of this sweat is just dripping on the floor i'm like this is good shit because i'm sweating that means i'm working hard but it also felt fucking dreadful and he's like okay you can hydrate i'm like oh thank you fucking sucking the teeth out of my water bottle like rich people water oh rich people water Honestly, I'm like learning to like it. I don't know. I'm totally fine with the taste now. And I think I've just, I found a stable sparkling water that I can always rely on. And again, you know, I'm a, I'm a marketing major. And guys, actually, this is gonna be a long video today. Fuck it, let's go. Tomorrow's graduation. And I barely prepared, but I'm literally gonna use my clothes from the funeral, just not the jacket. And I have a cap and gown, so definitely gonna try on that shit today, which I should have prepared, but I'm last minute with everything, as in like editing all these videos and <sighs> it's a habit to work on for sure. But as a marketing student, everything I portray in these videos is crafting an idea of who I am at you. And it's an opportunity for me to, cause sometimes I'm very lazy with how I am, which is just, I pick up a phone and I record and it's just, it's loosey goosey. But if I want to be extremely articulate and like seem super intelligent, seem like maybe I would make super scripted videos with like only professional cameras, all these lights, all this like perfect language, no ums, ifs, blah, 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 you know? But in a way I'm also showcasing such an authentic raw form of me that it may be more enjoyable. And I, and I think it is, it's kind of like I'm testing my own theory that anybody, as long as you're a fucking human that exists, you are such a unique fucking weird organism. Like people want to hear, you know? If you're cute, it's a plus. But if you're fucking really talented, usually you're like butt ugly. Like you can make it, bro. Everybody can, man. Certain people get privileges and it, that's just the genetic lottery, bro. That's just, you respond the way. So it's either you fucking sit there, complain and like the world sucks and what, you want to just fucking end it? Well, yeah, go back to the abyss. That was before. Like I can't even remember what consciousness was. Like consciousness didn't exist until I existed in 2001, you know? And then some people just want to go back to that. I'm like... I'm trying to be here for, I'm trying to be as awake as long as fucking possible. If I can work towards 150 years old. Okay, wow, today is a tangent day, I apologize. But me, long story short, <laughs> Long well, story short, with San Pellegrino, as as you order it at the table, as you drink it in front of others, you give off a certain like, okay, one, he's not just drinking like free water or like cheap plastic water. You know, he's paying a little bit of a premium for this. Like why? And it's like sparkling, like, ugh, who the fuck likes that? I'm like, come on, bro, it's not that bad. Everything's subjective. That's why I recommend you find your own sparkling water. But again, each brand is an opportunity that it's, it's literal status symbols and you can signal it out to the people around you. And sometimes it's, it's like un conscious um influence i'm giving to you that it's not so major but it's just like it gives you a different look at who i am or you could be very irresponsible with it and you just don't think about it it's not that anyone's irresponsible but i, I just think when you specialize in something that requires persuasion and influence you learn how everything that you are even the shirt i'm wearing everything i'm conveying like how i how well kept my hair is like everything about me you know what i'm saying it's it's an opportunity to portray a certain emotion a certain idea, a certain language, a certain symbol. Like, I don't fucking know. So get yourself some San Pellegrino and you'll look bougie AF. Long story short. This already became a 10 minute video. This is, I'm very sorry guys. Okay, so rest of the day, right? Boxing occurs and it was 50 minutes. And I'm fucking dead afterwards. And then afterwards we 
I get dropped off by Dan, Dan the man. And then, what the fuck did I do? Cause we went to the plant shop, but I feel like we did something before that. So yeah, I forgot this, but my grandpa's potentially coming through. So we had to build the bed and I came in late. My dad and my brother were building it. So yeah, this is me finishing it. And this is me petting my dog. And then afterwards we went to a plant shop. My dad was like, bro, let's start spicing it up. Cause dude, today was like 80 degrees. So it was just like the day for it. And now it's, the weather's getting better. So now we can start growing some plants out in the garden. And so we went down to the flower shop and it was so like, it was awesome just to see like plants, you know? I don't know what it is about plants. They're just fucking awesome. You want to like pick all of them, but you can't. And then my dad, of course, he gets like the most extra, like huge fucking like thing that doesn't fit in the car. But we like live nearby and I had to walk home with this extremely large plant just through my town. And I looked quite ridiculous. But I also was got pissed because as I'm holding it, one, it's like heavy and my biceps are like burning out. I was like, I didn't expect this to be this difficult. I thought it'd be like light work and I would lift it, but no, I had to like keep putting that shit down. I'm like, Cisco, you're a fucking bitch. Like you need some strength, which is going to relate to the new fitness program I'm gonna get into. So let me hold on to that. But as I'm bringing this shit back home, it's fucking dripping all over me. And it's like all this dirt water. And I, you know, it was all over my shirt and it was getting on my nice gray like sweat shorts that you know i really like those and i want to wear those today and then it just fucking it looked like someone caca all over me they just poo pooed all over me like wet like ugh. and i'm going through my town just and it just keeps dripping on me and i'm really but for me to hold it out in front of me that's a that's a muscle burn workout and i'm literally just wa walking in bursts and it's like 80 degrees 85 degrees like cooking so it was just it was a bit overwhelming but i'm kind of like now me repeating the story i'm like cisco you're kind of a bitch and you need to get strong Longer. And then the guy for the new fitness program I bought, I paid him 50 bucks for his thing. And I was kind of like, I thought it would really ha like hold my hand a lot more, but it's really like a kind of figure. I he gives you basically the system. He does give you everything you need. And it's really like, you have to just sit there, write it down and apply it. I'm like, <laughs> that's where my lazy ass just wants it all done for me. But it's like, no, you gotta fucking do that shit. So anyway, he says muscle is a byproduct of strength and, he, and it's the faster method, F-A-S-T-R. So this is the thing I'm gonna be experimenting with like in the coming weeks. I'm gonna be doing his lifting program essentially. But me now like doing the story today that like pissed me off. It kind of literally just made a brain connection. Like I recorded it live, which is fucking awesome. That was kind of embarrassing looking back that I couldn't just like lift this damn flower pot. Like it was heavy, but I wanna be a man that it's no problem. Does that make sense? Like this should not be an issue to me. I gotta be strong. I, you know, I'm taking boxing now and I'm literally a, a twig punching things like there's only so much power i can really generate you know so now i really need to get into like weight training and like stimulate the muscles with heavy weight so that it tears the muscle and you rebuild and you keep pushing heavier things away from you or pulling or you know all the workouts right squats etc wow what a fucking revelation that was fucking great sorry for swearing a lot but this is my archive i don't give a shit so I kind of like low-key cemented it more that I'm just going to follow this guy's lifting program. Just see, just see what happens, bro. All the other fitness programs is just like, uh, but I love this guy's aesthetic of his page for some reason. It just fucking clicks with me. I'm like something about it, bro. And shit, maybe in the future I do his program. I do fucking solid with it. Get results. Like shit, maybe I could work with the guy. As a marketing person, I feel like I can like help improve his product a lot and maybe help his brand in a bit, but we'll see. We'll see. I have to fucking do the work for like first so I can prove myself to the guy, you know? At least do the damn fucking program, get the results. And he's like, respect, respect brother. You worked hard. Okay, we can be cool, you know? That's kind of like a game plan now. I stopped, actually, I'm gonna be honest too. Maxi program. I, sh I was paying 47 bucks a month for that shit and I was not properly utilizing it. And I used like the excuse of school and I learned a lot from his course and I like blasted through all of it. And I, But I didn't like sit down and take the hours of deep thinking to like really articulate my life. And when I'm ready to do that shit, maybe I'll retake his course. I just didn't like how it was every month and I was paying $50. I think it's worth it if you're really using it you know if my bitch ass is just if i'm not clicking with it just right now just stop paying for it you got the lessons from it and you can like kind of create your own system from it and shit like that so you know now i want to just look into exploring different creators and different influencers and their courses um their community groups because for so long i only took information if it was free but really the high value core information you need is going to be behind a paywall 
and you just if i was younger bro i wish i wasn't so scarce and so not putting my money into like educational things because we'll we'll sign loans away that we can never bankrupt and you know thousands and tens of thousands of dollars in debt just to go to academic school but when it comes to your self-education and some people make ten dollar courses twenty dollar courses fifty dollar courses a hundred dollar courses two hundred dollar courses like it just it feels so much it's like a fucking um it's like an app in the app store when i was younger seeing like one dollar two dollars three dollars that was fucking outrageous i was like that that is too high sir you need every app should be free you know just in my mind and it's just like fuck see how my mindset's so corrupted like that is so the scarcity mindset is horrible and that's where like i can force feed myself abundance messages but again at the core it's like your scarcity bitch ass just always claws you back so this down bad to chad journey guys the whole like it's gonna be hard to but you're gonna watch the transition of my core image like my self image just because right now i'm crafting who i want to become but it's like now the hard part is becoming that individual adopting all the principles all the qualities all the discipline all the laser focus like it's crazy shit this is so fucking long but i've been like i guess i need to say this shit this is from the divine this is from the gods they're giving me this right now <sighs> so we're gonna tone it down right now so today was a good day it was a good day and i have graduation tomorrow and damn childhood is fucking concluded crazy shit guys and i'm gonna have to like figure out life making money and shit but my priority is seriously my fitness and my health. Like I, I have to make that just like a core fucking laser focus of mine. And I need to get fucking, you know, I'm 14 weeks in bro. I should have gains by now. You get what I'm saying? Like I've been doing this shit incorrectly for 14 weeks, but it's fine. I've been still consistent with like a practice, at least like an, a martial. No, boxing is not a martial art, but boxing, right? And I fell off my calisthenics grind completely. But again, this has been the whole exploration. Like I thought I would love calisthenics and I would just be a fucking robot calis, but my body rejected it clearly day by day. And I just, I stuck with boxing. So I'm like, for sure, I wanna kick people's ass. I wanna punch, knock somebody out. So I'm gonna learn that. I'm gonna keep learning. And I'm probably gonna keep that consistent in my life. Like maybe for the rest of my life, ideally, ideally. But next is just, I think li lifting is probably my, my cheat code right now. For pure aesthetics and strength, lifting heavy shit putting picking it up putting it back down that's i think that's it time to explore time to experiment and i only have to lift three times a week in the program <laughs> beautiful i love the minimalist approach of it so wow 20 minutes i've been stream of consciousness speaking okay hopefully this all makes sense i think i got some good thoughts out there i do want to conclude it now because this is going to be a bitch to edit i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day i'm gonna chillax childhood ends tomorrow it's fucking great fucking scary but it's great and i'll see you in the fucking next clip thank you for watching hey guys before we get right into the recap i completely forgot in the clip i just discussed you're about to see it that i graduated college for some reason my brain just like became so numb to it and whatever so here's a picture of what i look like like saturday saturday 314 and that's all i'm about to show um yeah your boy did four years in college yep also fun fact this is so weird like pointing with a uh macbook camera it's like really disorienting if you're trying to learn a language my cousin gave me the tip of putting sticky notes on everything you own and it's like in that language. So this is almofado, which is pillow. Right. Yeah, almofada, I should say. Corber, corber tor, tor. Blanket. Anyway, so there's that. Yeah, I graduated and. All my family was there and it was a beautiful moment and the guest speaker there was really dope too honestly brought a lot of inter interesting insight and real life real life is here guys <laughs> it's crazy but anyway we'll continue to the video this is about our health journey but holy shit all right bye Hello and welcome to week 14 recap of Down Bad to Chad. Guys, some stupid shit just happened. So as I was making this bowl, I was actually recording. I literally have a whole camera set up and 
I was recording for like eight minutes and I was going over the, the walk of the week and just gonna like do a general recap and then conclude this video, right? For eight minutes, I was talking and the damn memory card one ran out of storage. So I just, that's, I need to like go through it because I deleted everything off of it or I mean, I took everything out, but it has like invisible files. So it's like clogged, it's weird. And second, it didn't, I, I didn't hear anything. So it's whatever. So now I have to like restart all this shit again. And honestly, I had such a good flow state and I cannot like access that shit back so i'm gonna make this a very very brief conclusion and i'm gonna make sure this damn thing is recording as well so i made sure i'm recording on my phone now so i wrote everything down on this notepad and i'll put the screen recording of the apple health app like i did last week so let, let's just get through this so the week average so we're looking at may 8th to may 14th the weekly average was 7519 and that's about 2,000 more than last week. So that's much better. And we need to keep improving that. I want the week's average to be like up to 10K, but it being 5K is like a very good, like I want to set a minimum of 10K steps, which ends up being like four miles, which I Googled the other day. So that 5K is going to be like two miles. So at least that's like the minimum minimum. Ideally, I want to hit 10K a day, but if it's just 5K, then I'm okay with that. So that's, that's the mentality. Cause I really need to start walking, man. You gotta, this vessel is meant to traverse the lands of the earth for many miles at a time throughout the whole day. Like you're supposed to be running marathons every day. Cause we were, we were chasing our, our game. We were chasing our food. Anyway, let's go ahead. So Monday we had 4,400 steps. I worked out that day too, but I didn't walk to my gym. I drove there and back. So that's why it was much lower. Tuesday, slacking my worst day, 2,198 steps. Wednesday, I had 5,951, juicy. That's the minimum we wanna hit. Thursday, we hit 10,667 steps. So that was a good day. And as I was saying in my other recording, me recording this on Monday, I have no idea what I'm talking about today. So I don't even know why it was 10,000 that day, but I probably went for a nice juicy walk, listen to some podcast or something. Friday, we almost hit the 10K, we had 9, 9,511. Saturday, 4,376. Not bad, but we hit just under it, under the 5K. And then Sunday was the juiciest day, 15 thousand steps so i want to make a long story short about sunday because i went on for like eight minutes in my previous recording basically my parents were a part of some parade for the portuguese community for like a church and as we were there we were only there just to observe them from the street because we were going to watch our parents be a part of it and then they were lacking so many people in it that they needed a lot more men to like carry some shit so they some random guy comes out of the blue and picks my brother and i and we were going to try to weasel our way out of it but we just caved in and did it and actually we ended up making making a cool friend there a kid like that's around our age anyway so it ended up working out it was a good day man i honestly the the divine came and looked at us like god whatever jesus was like brother come on walk in the parade today come on so he just he made that guy select us you know i'm keeping this very summarized because i cannot be bothered to like go over it all again it just it's so painful when you record like 10 minutes and it just it wasn't recording it's just it hurts my soul yeah so 15 like 5k steps is basically two miles so almost six miles that day i walked in total which is awesome honestly it wasn't even that the parade was this many steps i think but we we were just walking so much and then this is mother's day so we were hanging out with my mom too going out i even went to the store to like get her last minute things and things so it was just such a good walking day and this is like a normal number we need to be hitting you know i need to get out of this house i'd be sitting on my ass so much bro walking is so good for you walking is like the bare minimum exercise anyone can do no matter what it's the easiest so yeah kind of a rough conclusion kind of rough recap uh this week but at least we went through the numbers and it was better than last week so that's all i can ask for and hopefully next week we can break the week's average and i guess that should be like the constant challenge is like trying to get a better weekly average and yeah i'm gonna finish this pound of meat because i'm starving i started a new lifting program which you guys are gonna see in week 15 which is coming up this week so i'm really excited to be showing you guys what i'm gonna be doing hopefully it's gonna get me to my aesthetics and my strength and my my gains like sooner than later because i'm already 14 weeks into this shit and i still look the same i definitely think i'm strong 
over, but again, I haven't been supplementing my body well with, with food and I haven't been tearing the muscle with like heavy weight. If anything, I've just been doing body weight in very minuscule amounts that it's, there's no muscle growth to ever occur. And the most I could say is maybe punching and boxing, like punching the bags, but that's all, that's only so much. Like I definitely have built resistance to that force. I always applied to it because I was getting very sore in the beginning of my journey. And now I just like launch haymakers, but they're very soft because they're, they're skinny boy haymakers. So now I need to like hit the gym, gain some fucking strength. Cause in the, in the program, the guy says muscle is a byproduct of strength. So if I can only bench me, my body at 135, like that's kind of like my max. I'm kind of a weak ass bitch. No cap. Like the plate is always the first milestone people hit in the gym, but it's all right. And then I, I DM the guy and he's like, you need to be hitting 185 minimum. I'm like, holy shit. So that's the game plan boys we're we're gonna be switching up the fitness program drinking a lot more sparkling water experimenting with fasting which today i didn't really do properly i woke up late so it was kind of fucked but i need to start waking up at the same time every day going to bed at the same time every day his program the faster program f-a-s-t-r very interesting um, and i'm gonna be showing you guys over the course of the week like even today i you know i did my workout at the gym today doing it so yeah long-winded Thank you guys for watching, really appreciate it. I'm gonna crush this and then I need to edit and publish it for today. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next week.